How's your cup of joe there? Very sweet. Like I like it. This podcast was brought to you by no Yeti. Uh, Mountain Valley K cups. <laughs> I don't even like it's some French vanilla H E B. God, jazz. I just need you to get on good coffee. Get you, I don't like coffee. Get you a quart. You like cigarettes, which means you're like two steps away from liking good. Excuse coffee. me, not just any cigarettes. Sorry, Marlboro Southern, Southern Cut. cut. We'll the, get you the fancy we'll, cigarettes. We'll get you drinking cortados on here before long. I don't know what that is, but uh, hard pass. It's fucking amazing. If it's not French vanilla, not there's, interesting. There's actually no flavoring in it. It is just coffee and a who likes steamed uh, who milk. Who actually likes the taste of coffee? I do. Garbage. You haven't had good coffee. Did you drink shit? Oh, oh but we did I that coffee taste of gourmet stuff because I like the taste of it. We did that stupid coffee taste at one time, and all of them tasted awful. Those were kind of out there coffees. <laughs> You're out there. Yeah. Welcome. <laughs> Today's 12 minute talk, John. It's very meta. Wade's going to talk about himself again. I Except mean, the I do have fun. Yes. Is going to be him talking about his cell sleep. Well, let's restrict him to 12 minutes on the clock and then we'll begin. Today's film minute talk is brought to you by AllyMunitions.com and if you're Midland, stop by Ally Outdoors. Throw coffee bags at John, <laughs> but you don't know what it looks like. So you just, just leave them pick it up for me. Throw them out of them. Yeah, just yeah, throw coffee at people. <laughs> throw, Ally Outdoors, throw coffee at people. Uh, today, we're going to talk about the other YouTube channel. Yeah, there, I think you get often comments. It's like, hey, uh, you sure do talk a lot, but you don't ever actually show yourself doing anything. Which is douchey, but whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, to the haters, it's weird because they're like criticizing you, but the implication is they want to see more of you. So is that a good or a bad thing? Mm, maybe it's all like a secret love thing. I love hate. They yeah, hate, they there, hate there's how definitely much they some of that you. going on. Like they just, they hate watch and they just need more material to hate on. Yeah. Hate, 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 hate. Uh, the channel is Texas Predator Hunting. <laughs> Obviously, you're watching or listening to the Texas Predator Hunting podcast, which if you're listening, it has its own YouTube channel, which is where the podcast is filmed. Also, if you're uh, fancy and you have Spotify, it's also what, the video comes up there too. Isn't it still? Wait, what? Our Spotify shows yeah, the video yeah. as well. Yeah, 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 we're fancy like Joe Rogan. Yeah, yeah. Well, not even he's on. He's he's copying us. He's uh, on Apple Podcasts. Yeah. You know. Oh, is he really? I thought he wouldn't. No, like they rewrote like the the contract that he had previously expired. So he sells a new contract with them, but he's going to be back on YouTube and Apple Podcasts, I believe. And mm. something like they there's like some ad rev split or something there, but I mean, that's not important to our viewers. So, again, the YouTube channel is called Texas Predator Hunting. For now, I might change. We may change the name at some point. I don't. We haven't came up with a good name, but it is. If you're already following it, or if you followed it in the past, uh, it's undergoing a revamp, if you will. With much higher quality footage and videos. Wait, he's cleaning his act up. I'm, I'm a real boy now. I'm a grown up. <laughs> it only took me 40 years to get there. So, let's talk about the plan for that channel. So, the podcast is a podcast. I think sometimes people on YouTube forget that. Sometimes I myself forget that we're actually doing a podcast and we need to be more descript in our, you know, talkings in our words here. Uh. But the po- the podcast is a podcast. We're going to talk to people. We're going to talk about hunting. We're going to talk about whatever we want. Sometimes, you know, we might just trash a the thermal for an hour, like we did the other day. <laughs> shots, shots fired. But the YouTube channel is going to be split into sections. Now it's currently being worked on. We've already uploaded some of the hunting videos. In case you're wondering about that, and so there's a. On the hunt, on the bench, on the range, and there's going to be a segment called On the Ranch. So we're kind of taking everything I do, bringing it into one place, splitting it into like different sections. So you can kind of go to your video list 
Is that is that what they call it on video list? Uh, Just videos. Like we're we're making like separate little things. What are they called? Jesus Christ. What do you mean? Like we can categorize uh, playlists. There you go. There we go. So there will be organizing the playlist. All your on the bench segments. All your on the hunt segments. On the range. On the ranch. So. Home, home on the range. On the hunt is pretty civil. These are higher quality hunting videos. We That's not what out, I saw. We put out two already? Yeah. Two already. Now, they're not going to. We may have some eventually that are long, but right now they're just short. Every, nobody wants to. Eh. Here's the deal with the hunting videos. The first thing I said to Justin, I said, when we're recording our hunts or whatever the case may be, I want you to shoot in like real format constantly because also that, that's a big deal. Like we're focusing on making our reels better and all that stuff. Like higher quality content, natural progression of things. I said, but at the end, I want to be able to put together these short videos. I'm not going to do the talking head. We're out here today. Baby. I'm not like, it's not going to be none of that shit uh, because yes, we are kind of going a little bit slower to get, you know, good footage, good B row. And there is a few things like I need to get some photos of this ammo. I need to get some photos of this rifle or suppressor for an upcoming project on a podcast or the YouTube channel, but it's never going to be in the format in which you're used to with your hunt shows that in my opinion, and not everybody's going to agree with this. And you know, we've already seen in the comments for the one video, it's like what the music. Ugh. Cause I have a vision that I would like to, I have a dream. I'm an artist. God damn it. That's what John used to say all the time. Uh, I have a vision for our hunting videos that I would like to share with the world in the, in the way that it makes me excited. So they're going to be different. Like, our most latest one, which I totally forgot to let everybody know was coming out because like I got mixed up my days. It's all black and white and it has music. There's literally no words. You have, you never even got to see a gunshot. It's just coyote footage, coyote and decoy dog footage all in black and white. Cause in my head, that's like the vision I had. I want to share my vision with y'all. And the last thing I want to do is just be another cookie cutter legacy hunting media show where like we have to do the thing we have to show the b-row i have to uh reenact the shot like i'm not doing none of that <laughs> we're gonna capture what we capture like one takes you know i ain't doing no b-row ain't doing no after the fact stuff i'm not faking anything we're going out there and hunting and we're capturing what we're capturing that's what we're gonna go for so It'll either be a swimming success or it'll be a tunnel fire because no one else thinks my vision is cool. <laughs> you know, and there is going to be music in the videos. Sometimes you'll see and hear us talking about, like, if I, like, in the first video, there was music, but there's also, like, a couple times where I was talking about the stand and me and Dane were kind of bullshitting. That wasn't scripted. That wasn't after the fact. That wasn't intentional. That was literally us just talking after the stand and then Justin capturing it. So that's how we're going to play out the On the Hunt series. So, on the bench, we've already done a couple on the bench segments. Uh, when Justin comes back, we're gonna film a bunch of updates on some of these projects. And that's probably what it's gonna be. It's like project rifles. I'm gonna take you through the process of the things I'm doing, or new scopes, new this summer coming this summer, new thermals, extensions of the podcast. Say we we pull in a product and we talk about it on here. If it needs to be shown more uh, visually, or if there's like an extended cut version or something, you'll see that over on on the bench. Like it's, it's a extension of the podcast where we will deep dive in a little bit deeper on certain things, you know, or, or something that needs to be shown more than we can actually portray in the podcast. And <laughs> what the. Fuck? You messed up my flow, man. <laughs> with your with your bottle trumpet over there. <laughs> what does that mean? I'm out of time. Oh, no. <laughs> premature bottle blow. Yeah, I can never laugh. So, <laughs> on the bench, that's what it is. It's like I'm gonna build out a rifle. I'm gonna take you through my process. I'm gonna show you how it's doing with what ammo and everything else, and then 
there might be some projects born on the mansion that come into here, you know? So it's kind of like this back and forth thing. And then, uh, you'll have to like the, on the bench, there might also be some like TPH chair products playlist in there. Cause we, we've never really shown anybody that very well, but we're finally starting to put some stuff together, but more on that later on the range. You won't see really fire up good until the summer when we have more time. Also, they're working down range right now, so it's kind of whatever. Uh, that's going to be more of the long range content, and we're putting together a lot of plans for that. Also, there's going to be some more. I'm not going to say tactical, but I am going to get more into some pistol content and some like uh, tactical boy AR content this summer as well, because. Uh, I test those things for ammo, uh, and we're going to shoot some more stuff for munitions rails, like testing out some of the products we carry that we don't. You know, we don't load pistol ammo yet, but we do carry some. So I'm going to get out there and do some accuracy testing and what have you, and we're going to post up reels, and that might make it, make it to the on-the-range segments. So you really look for that to kind of take off more during the summer because that's when we have more time for that kind of stuff. That is very disturbing the way you're drinking from that bottle. This is where I wish I had my own camera. <laughs> and then there... <laughs> you're such a weird fuck. <laughs> <laughs> uh... oh, wait, I should have had the headset on. <laughs> <laughs> so that's going to be the on the range stuff, uh, which... See, used to I had, I, we were going to separate this stuff to try and see if we were more capable of capturing certain demographics and stuff like that. But that, you know, the bad thing about that is the minute you start separating all this stuff, that's just more content you have to put out on separate channels. So I'm bringing everything back in. And we're going to try that for a while. So on the range is kind of like that. Our, our long range shooting, range tactical, all that kind of crap is going to end up there. And more on that this summer. On the ranch is going to be like the whitetail management side or just ranch activities. Uh, more stuff on that this summer when I'm, uh, it's all going to come down to like sitting down and planning out all these videos and like putting out content that we think would be kind of valuable to y'all or entertaining to y'all. So on the ranch, on the bench, on the range and on the hunt, like these are all the playlist on the hunt. I'm probably most excited about. Because we already have some, yeah, we just put out a little decoy dog and video. We already have a fair amount of coyote hunting action. We have the pronghorn hunt. We are fixing to film a quail hunt with some dogs. And then we'll probably do a lot of pig hunting this summer. We'll finally start showing some of that stuff. Like, not just thermal pig hunting. Because that, to me, you know, we talked about this in one of the other podcasts. Oh, yeah, I should shit talk it quite a bit. Like, the same thermal video over and over. It's boring to me. You know, some people, that might be the thing. That's fine. But there's, we kill a lot of pigs. There's many different ways to kill pigs, though. We will ramsack them. Boil them, them, them <laughs> stick them in a stew. <laughs> we'll ramsack them. Just oh, sorry. Drive up on them. <laughs> there's my 12-minute warning. You're out of time. We'll ramsack them. We'll sit in the stands and just shoot them in daylight. I like shooting them long range during daylight, but also we're going to get more into thermal content and we're going to be talking about more thermals and stuff like that, which is bleh. Might be some cool stuff coming here pretty soon with technology advancing. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Be sure and go follow that channel. Look, it's one of the same. Uh, podcast channel, the Texas Predator Hunting Podcast. The YouTube channel currently is the just Texas Predator Hunting. Yeah, look in, like look down below in the description. There'll be a link to the other channel. Go subscribe over there. Go comment on the latest video and tell Wade to not shave his beard or his hair. Ever. 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 Just let it mountain man. Shania. I think you're going to say Shania Twain for some reason. It sounded like Shania that. Shania Twain. R.I.P. Toby Keith. R.I.P. indeed. Should I grow the beard and the hair until after the trip? You should the force. You should trip. grow the beard to the point the mustache is so ridiculous you can shave the beard and just have like be all mustache. 
I will never do that. <laughs> That'll never happen. We appreciate everyone. Be sure to check out alleymunition.com or go by Alley Outdoors. This is literally what makes all this stuff possible. And we'll see you guys next time. You guys are the real heroes. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>